champions, we got a brand new character to preview, and it is John Cena. You can't see me. Or can you? So, he is a trickster. We're going to have a look at 5-star silver. Coachability at 20,000 is received 10,000 less damage from any colored gem. So that's a pretty damn good one. Links with Modern Era and no gear. But he's got 10% move dodge because, you know, 3% was not annoying enough. So, as you can see, he looks invisible, which is pretty cool. I like it. First move set we're gonna have a look at. You're gonna see he's pretty much an exact copy of Undertaker, Zombie Undertaker, that is, except better. So he has the five knuckle shuffle, eight MP red move, deals 27.6k damage and make eight trap gems into yellow gems. The Emerald Flosion, seven MP red move, deals 24.8k damage and makes 16 random gems into trap gems. Broken by your opponent deals zero damage and make two random purple gems into multiply gems of strength two. If broken by you deals zero damage and make three random gems into purple gems. That's where he's better than Taker because he's actually making purple and his main color is purple. Taker is an acrobat that makes green gems which are his third color as far as damage go. Uh, and also the throwback six MP yellow move deals 11.6k damage and gain six red MP. Trainers, we're actually gonna see three different set of them. The first set we're gonna see is a Showboat Kofi to start with more yellow, Ziggler to make more traps into yellows, Dragon so that uh, we're making one extra trap as well as the traps doing 50% more damage, and Showboat Lacy so that the purples are gonna do 20% more damage. That's the first thing we're going to try. We're going to try different uh, stuff instead of Ziggler on another one. We're going to go versus Drew. I would have liked to go versus a technician so that we, they wouldn't have as much protection from gems. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't find one on the road that I fit the requirement with Cena. So he will have defense of 41% against gems and 18% against moves. On my end, I got 20% more health, start with more, three more MP, and match plus two. But no bonus for damage, so keep in mind, he's soaking up 41% of what I'm gonna do. Make more red. Place traps. And hopefully, wreck Avoc with this. Underwhelming. At least it's still our turn. Break those three right there. And we were not lucky with those. Good thing though is we're going to be able to do it again next turn. Alright, so get more traps. Let's get more red. Break more traps. Now we're talking. Let's 
Still not that much damage though. Let's do it again. More traps. Perhaps. I don't know if many of them are going to connect on yellows though. Again, a bit underwhelming for damage. Perhaps. Not enough to refill the other, but we can break three right there. That's a pretty good cascade. Again, he's soaking a lot of that gem damage. But we got it, and we barely lost any health, really. But that shows what can happen if the board does not want to cooperate. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again, but with different trainers. Alright, different trainer moveset. So we keep the same three moves. But instead of using Ziggler, we're going to use Jinder. So we're not going to make more yellows, but we're going to make more traps. And instead of using Dragon, we're going to be using All of Fame Booker. We're going to create one extra yellow. We're making more traps. We're going to convert them uh, more. We're going to convert less of them. Should kind of have a similar result. We'll see. Red. And the traps out. Unfortunately, there's barely any yellows. Uh, that might be a rough one. Right. Yeah, we didn't have much that matched there. Bit more red. That's kind of what often happened with Zombie Taker too, though. Right, right, three traps there. That should be a good one. One hundred eighty one would have been nine k, nine hundred k if he didn't soak most of it. Oh, just enough. <laughs> All right. Let's try with just pure gem damage. All right. Same move set again. 
but we're going for full gem damage so we're replacing uh gender that we had last with tuf set rollins that has increased the purple gem damage by 35 percent everything stays the same that means with that setup we're going to be doing 55 percent more purple damage now ideally you'd have metals that boost the hell out of that purple damage but we don't have any metals there try that good amount of yellows hopefully they're gonna match to it let's come to them a lot of them are already on yellows That's a good one. Five hundred K. Wow, he's kicking out of that like it's nothing. a lot close to yellows all right we're still getting a good cascade out of it i wasn't sure because there wasn't much that looked like it could connect but we got lucky on that 6-11 left after mitigation. Good god, he gets out of everything? Damn, Powerhouse and their gem damage. He got out of that like it was nothing. Third time the charm. There you go. <laughs> you definitely need to put some damage medals. I'm gonna show you the rest of the moves. Not gonna go through them because I mean. Zombie Taker's been out for two years, we know him very well. There is only one move set you should be using, and that's the one. He saw pretty much the same result with whatever set of trainers that we used, though. Now the other moves. You got the Attitude Adjustment, which is a 10 MP purple move. Finisher deals 67,000 damage and destroy five random yellow gems and pin the opponent. The Af Nelson Neckbreaker, 7 MP yellow move, deals 36.9k damage and destroy five random purple gems. 
the SDF, 8 MP purple move, submission, play 6 submission gems, and do 12.4k damage for 4 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into multiply gems off strain 2. And the protobomb, 8 MP purple move, deal 34,000 damage and choose 7 red gems to destroy. That's a move you could actually use instead of the throwback. Uh, issue with that is that you actually need to have those reds on the board, which is again board dependent. So I do like the throwback better because that way you'll get those traps pretty much every turn. So that is it for John Cena. You can't see me. I definitely wouldn't put him as a top tier guy uh, just because he's way too board dependent. You can definitely have a bad board and be completely screwed and just nothing matching. Uh, but he's still a pretty good character overall and definitely would be a hell of a lot better if we can put the right medals on it. So thanks for watching. If you're not uh, already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Gia. Ciao.